Okay, so this is the final video on the playlist where we're looking at the June 2018 Edexcel Higher Paper 2. Okay, and in the previous uh, video we finished at question number 18. We're going to start again from question number 19. Um, please do have a go at each of these questions. Stop the video, have a go, and then compare your solutions. Okay, so let's move on then to question number 19. I'm going to hopefully aim for this video to be about 20, 30 minutes in length, and it should give you some fairly focused revision with some of the more challenging questions at the end of the paper. Okay, so it says the shape S is one quarter of a solid sphere and they've very helpfully given us the volumes and the surface area of spheres on the right hand side there in the call out box. So it says the volume of S is that. Okay, that's fine. Find the surface area. Okay, so the first thing is, is that we need to use this information to work out really actually the radius because the radius figures when we're needing to work out the surface area. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to use this information we've got and this formula to be able to work out the radius. A little bit tricky to kind of work through but shouldn't be too bad hopefully. So what I'm going to say is 576 pi, which is the volume, is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. But remember it's actually only one quarter of a solid sphere. So I'm going to pop that into brackets and I'm going to say well actually that's the same as a quarter of it. OK, so this is really where I think you just need to be a little bit careful to make sure that you get all your all the ducks in a row, all your, all your jigsaw pieces in place so you're able to do this. OK, so I've got 576 pi. OK, so I'm going to multiply this out. So I'm going to say a quarter times 4 over 3. Well, that's exactly the same as saying 4 over 12 pi r cubed. Okay, now we've got the calculator, so we should be all right with this. Um, if I divide through by 4 over 12 pi, I'm going to get r cubed. Okay, so r cubed is equal to 576 pi divided by 4 twelfths pi. Okay, and um, with a little bit of work on the calculator or, you know, however you want to do it, I can knock off the pi first and then I can put in the rest of the information into the calculator and I should get that r is equal to the cube root of 1728 and very neatly I get my radius of 12, okay? And then really it's just a case of putting that into the surface area formula, okay? But remember again that we're only looking at a quarter of the sphere. So the surface area, okay, is going to be a quarter of 4 pi r squared. Okay, so the first bit is, is I'm going to put that in as a quarter, 4 times pi times 12 squared, okay, and that will give me 144 pi when I work that all out, and bearing in mind this quarter and this 4 will cancel themselves out. So I get 144 pi. But that's not the end of the story because not only have you got the actually outside surface area of the sphere, but we've got to take into account that we've got these two half circles as well, okay? So don't be fooled with these sorts of questions. They are five mark questions. You need to just spend a little bit of time thinking through all of this. So what we've got then is we've also got a semicircle okay and the area of a circle is pi r squared okay well we know the radius is 12 so pi r squared is going to give us 144 pi okay right so therefore i've got 144 pi and then i need to uh double that because essentially um i'll halve it and then double it if you like because i've actually got two of these so if I, I can't draw it particularly well, but this one is going to be this first one. And then the second one I've drawn is actually this one. So the total area is going to be 
288 when I add that one and that one together. So the total surface area is going to be 144 plus 144 is 288 pi. And if I want to do that, I can then put that into a calculator because it does ask me to give uh, the answer correct to three significant figures. So what I'm going to get is going to be 904.778 centimeters squared. Okay, so to three significant figures, there's the third. I'm going to change that to five because of the seven. So it's 905 centimetres squared. And that's the answer to this particular question. OK, hope that's all right for you. Let's move on to uh, question number 20, where we're going to rationalise the denominator. And again, there is a playlist on the site. Please do have a look at the playlist. OK. So these types of questions are becoming a little bit uh, more popular, actually, with, um, with some of the questions and some of the past papers I've been looking at recently. And really, it's a case of just, actually, I tend to work them through because they ask you to find the, the bit that's wrong, OK? They, they usually tell you it's wrong, and then you've got to kind of figure it out. And the bit that's wrong on this is we've got... Um, plus root 3 times minus root 3 is going to be a minus root 9, which is minus 3. So it's actually this bit of it here that's wrong. So hopefully you've spotted that. OK, so the mistake is going to be that he should have multiplied plus root 3 times minus root 3 is going to be equal to minus root 9, which equals minus 3. OK, um, now you might want to elaborate on that a little bit. You could actually work it out. I, I worked it out. I think I got my final answer as something like uh, 28 minus 14 root 3 or something like that. I can't quite remember now. It's something like that. But it's that bit of it that's, that's wrong, I'm afraid. OK, so let's move on to uh, Sean. And Sean did this question. OK, and again, we've got to find Sean's mistake. OK, well, um, the bit that she's got wrong is actually, I think, this bit here. OK, and the reason that's wrong is because 5 root 12 is actually the same as saying 5 times root 4 times um, root 3. So this bit of it is root 12. OK, this bit is root 12. So actually, it wouldn't be 3 root 2. It would be 2 root. Um, sorry, <laughs> it wouldn't be um, 3 root 2. It would be 2 root 3. And that would be the bit that she's made the mistake on. And again, if you wanted to, you could work that through and give them an answer. But they're not asking for you to do that. There are only one mark questions. OK, so let's move on then to um, I think it's going to be the final question on this particular uh, paper, and that's going to be looking at density, I think, and bounds. OK, um, again, bounds is becoming a bit more popular. There is a playlist on the channel. Please do have a look at it. OK, I tend to be relatively methodical with these sorts of things. So um, Jackson's trying to find the density of a block of wood, block of wood shape of a cuboid. OK, it's got length, width and height. OK, so let's have a look at that first. What I'm going to do is look at each of those measurements and work out the lower and upper bound for each of those. So let's start with 13.2 centimetres. Now, they fooled you a little bit because actually you need to either look at that as um, millimeters because it says correct the nearest millimeter or you need to change it to uh, change it to millimeters or leave it at centimeters it doesn't really matter um, for the purpose of this okay so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave it as it is and I'm going to say that for that one I've got the upper bound and the lower bound okay the lower bound if it's correct the nearest millimeter is going to be 13.15 okay the upper bound then will be 
2.5. And again, if you're not sure about what I'm doing, please do have a look at the playlist on bounds. Okay, so um, 16 centimeters, correct, and the nearest millimeter. Well, that's going to be um, a lower bound of 15.95 and an upper bound of 16.05. Okay. And then finally, I've got the height of 21.7 centimetres, correct. And so therefore, I've got, uh, where shall I put this? I'll put it, um, I'll put it over here. I'll just write 21.7, okay. So my lower bound is going to be 21.65. And my upper bound is going to be 21.75. OK, and hopefully that will give you me, it will give me now enough information to be able to work through this particular type of question. Then it says uh, he measures the mass of um, 1970 grams correct to the nearest five grams. OK, so 1970 correct to the nearest five will give me a lower bound of 1967.5 and an upper bound of 1972.5 okay again be very careful about this all right so at long last we've got all the components okay so it's asking us by considering bounds work out the density of the wood okay and give your answer to a suitable degree of accuracy okay so what i've got is density equals mass over volume Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to look at the lower bound, okay, of the volume, okay. So if I look at the lower bound of the volume, it's going to be the smallest the volume could possibly be. Well, the smallest the volume could possibly be would be 13.5 multiplied by 15.95 multiplied by 21.65. So that's the smallest it can be, which is 4540.925125. Okay. The upper bound of the volume, again, is the largest it can possibly be. Well, that's going to be 13.25 multiplied by 16.05 multiplied by 21.75. Pop all that together in your calculator and I've got 4625.409375. Okay, so density equals mass divided by volume. So let's just apply that, okay? So the upper bound of the, if I put density in there, the upper bound of the density is going to be um, the largest amount of, vol of uh, mass, which is 1972.5 divided by the smallest amount of volume, 4540.925125. That's going to give us then 0 0.42644 grams per centimetres cubed. Okay, so it's going to be the largest amount of volume divided by the smallest amount of mass will give us the upper uh, bound okay the lower bound is going to be in this particular case then the smallest amount of mass which is going to be 1967.5 divided by the largest amount of volume so 4625.409375 which is going to give us 0 0.425 three six seven seven grams per centimeters cube so hopefully you can see here that i've worked this through fairly logically and it does say by considering bounds okay well both of those numbers correct to two decimal places is 0 0.43 grams per centimeters cubed so i'm going to write density equals 0 0.43 grams per centimetre cubed and that is to two 
decimal places and that will give you the full marks for that particular question. Okay, so that's the end of this uh, exam paper and all of the different videos within the playlist. I hope it's been useful to you. Please do add any comments below. Please subscribe to the site. Um, I'm going to be uh, planning on looking at paper three at some point uh, very, very soon and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Thank you.